Hi everyone, I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 1, Episode 6. We're going to start off Tara Marie. She didn't got it in her head. I'm getting my music together. So I'm going to go to see Miss Diddy and Sincere, you know, some club promoters so I can get me a show out here so people can, you know, so people can hear my music. And I guess she thought she was just going to go there and they'd be like, oh yes, it's Tara Marie. Girl, yes, you gonna get this spot. You ain't like, yeah, girl. We go back right here. Yeah, everybody know who you is. Yeah, girl, come on now. And she gets there, and since was like, um, people will come to the show, be like, Tia Marie, who? You haven't did nothing in like eight years, girl. People come out to see people like Jennifer Lopez and stuff like that. They not coming to see no Tia Marie. But you know what? We kind of cool like that, but. I guess I can like let you do a show and see how it works. But we gonna get to that one in a minute. See, now Fizz told us that his girlfriend Amanda had cheated, but I didn't know that she had went as far as to get an apartment in her name so she could do her cheating. You know, most people when they cheat, you know, they go to a hotel or that other person's house. I guess he lived out of town and couldn't do that for whatever reason, so she didn't got a hope, but she didn't bought, got an apartment in her name so she could cheat, which. When I think about it, if you get an apartment just for, you know, cheating, you taking of long term cheating. This wasn't just a I was drunk with some I was out, got drunk and cheated. This was the I'm thinking ahead to when I wanna cheat again. That depending on the lease, whether it was a month to month, six months, twelve months, or twenty four months, she was thinking of long term cheating in my mind. When I'm thinking she didn't went and got an apartment just for cheating. And I'm like, I couldn't understand why she is this little, you know, hesitant about, you know, them taking a step further. It's like, if you want to be here, be here. But, you know, in the back of his mind, he's thinking, is this girl still cheating? Because I would already caught her once before and it wasn't a good thing. She was stupid with enough to put her name, you know, keep get the apartment in her name. But if that's what she wouldn't do, she was going to cheat, it was, it was inevitable, I guess. So, Masika's not going to let that whole breakup with Mal and Mal keep her down. She is back on the grind and she didn't met up with a friend. He wants her to be the face of a strip club near and far. Now, she lets us know that, hey, I am not a stripper. I am not stripping. I never will strip. I model. That's what I do. And this is what I will do. And he explained to her that, yeah, these, you know, strip clubs are owned by Nikki. But she's not going to let that stop her. That's just going to even make her want to do it even more. So that Nikki would know that, hey, yes, I am the face of all the strip clubs that Joe family own. So every time you go to work, you got to see this face. How about that? That's what I'm getting from her. Because she's like, yes, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be the face of strip clubs near and far. And Nikki's just going to have to deal with that. So Ray J's at Powerhouse. And he's on stage. And he's mad because his assistant Morgan is not there assisting him. She would rather be on the red carpet doing correspondence. So he's mad like, okay, I'm paying this girl to assist me. But she over here doing all kind of other stuff. See, that's what I'm talking about. She called on it, drama at the Ray J.com. She got to fight at my video shoot. She's still friends with Tia Marie. I can't trust her. Now, this is where I'm going to back it up at. Because the whole situation with the Ray J.com, Morgan thought it was a bad idea to bring Tierra Marie because she is known to what? Act the food and fight. She explained that to him that this is not a good idea. But what did he do? He invited her anyway. And and kinda in, you know, Tia Marie, I know she liked to fight, but she wasn't there on no fight room. She did say, hey, give me a check for what, you know, what you owe me and I'll be good. Yeah, she had a few drinks, but she wasn't ready to, you know, pop off at nobody until his girlfriend was showing all the pictures of what she had in her box. That's what turned her up. I guess it wouldn't happen if she hadn't been there, but if your girlfriend wasn't trying to be, you know, funny and, you know, trying to make fun of a girl and embarrass her, that wouldn't happen. Now, this whole thing with your video shoot, where was there being professional? Nikki came in to confront her. Nikki could have waited till they was over with that, but no, Nikki wanted to get this off her chest about 
Morgan showing pictures of her before she had her surgery. Nikki brought that drama to Morgan. Morgan didn't come up to Nikki with nothing bad. And three, Tia Marie and Morgan and Tia Marie were friends. Now, I think that would be ugly of Morgan if, you know, she's friends with Tia Marie the whole time now together, and then suddenly y'all break up, she can't be friends with her no more. Because I would feel some type of way. It's like, okay, you can just be friends with me and fine with this person. No, it doesn't work like that, Ray J. This is her friend. You know, she, because of you, she became friends with somebody. Now you can't say, well, you can't hang around with her no more. That's just like, uh-uh. Like, really, Ray J? I'm going to need you to really not do that. Like, you were really going too far. And then, like, when it's over, he's, like, questioning her loyalty. She's like, I've been here, but, you know, you've been acting some kind of way. And in the end, he basically fires her. And I'm like, well, Morgan, I think you can do better because I think she kind of, like, got a little crush on Ray J. And I don't think that's going to be good for her because that crush going to turn to she going to let him treat her any type of way. So, hopefully she can get her... A job doing something else or whatever she was she was in before I think she was a publicist I think they said so hopefully she can get on with being a regular sister and go on to bigger and better things Masika in her photo shoot she is sitting in a bathtub full of diamonds she's sitting like yes there's nothing like well I'm paraphrasing now there's nothing like sitting in a bathtub full of diamonds like girl you know good and dog don't wear them with no diamonds in that tub it kind of reminded me of when Nene did the cover of a, I don't remember what magazine when she was sitting in the tub full of diamonds. Now maybe Nene had a few diamonds in there, but you know them with no diamonds, girl. You you really tried it, trying to make it seem like, girl, please, you know them with no diamonds in there. But okay, this is what we're gonna go with. She was in a tub full of diamonds, cause that's what they do. That's how, you know, that's what she do. She lays in tub full of diamonds or folk shoes. We're going to go with that. So, Nikki comes in because she wants to know the real deal Holyfield with what happened with Masika and Molly Mall. And Masika's like, um, I've spent plenty of time at his house. I have text messages right here. You see what he's saying? He loves me. He can't do without me. All this stuff. This is from his phone. If you don't believe this is him and I just put a random name in, the number that it's connected to, you can call and see for yourself. So, Nikki, you can tell that she's hurt, but she's not going to let Masika know that. She's she going to keep that to herself. Like, I can't, I can't let this girl know that she got the best of me, so I'm going to keep this to myself. But clearly, all the signs were there that he was with Masika. Now, he was just lying to y'all, and you just chose not to believe that. So, basically, that's on you, girl. Yeah. And Masika, she's kind of happy because... As she's doing her photo shoot, Nikki don't know that, that her picture and face is going to be over all the hotels that her family owns. So I would love, I know I'm being messy right now, I would love for them to show when Masika's face is up on her photo shoot and what Nikki's going to say. I would just love that. And I know that is so messy of me. <laughs> so it's time for Tierra Marie's performance. It, I forgot where it was at. It should have given notes better. But anyway, she's there. She's like, huh? Huh? And the audience are like, <laughs> they laughing, looking confused. Sincere is like, oh Lord, I didn't put my name on this to every project and she ain't doing good. People were like, I paid my God, I paid my money to see this. Man. Oh no. Mm -mm, it's not good. So once the performance was over, Tia Marie, she's like, oh, I know I didn't do too bad because, you know, I haven't been on stage for a while. But, you know, it was all right. Now, Sincere, he's on a whole nother thing. He, they got outside like, yeah, what was that all about? I was like, next time you get your camera on that stage, you need to go to the gym, get on that treadmill, hit a few crunches because, girl, you was sounding all kinds of windy. And she was like, oh, no. And Miss D's like, oh, she sounded fine. I knew she didn't sound fine. She was sounding like she was ever having an asthma attack. Now, no offense to people who have asthma, I know that's something serious. But he was like, girl, you need to get back into shape, get that body right. And, you know, so you can be on stage and not be wobbling and sounding all kinds of out of breath. So that was her ticker. 
So she goes to swing on Sincere, and I just knew her Josie and the Pussycat ears was going to fall off her head. Like, when she had those on, that's all I saw was Josie and the Pussycat. I couldn't help it. I was like, girl, what you got that on? But I guess that's what she was going for. Like, I, he, Sincere said, uh, the kind of wanting to be an Eartha Kit kind, but I saw Josie and the Pussycat. That's what I saw. So, Sincere was like, okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. So I knew I shouldn't have been talking trying to get you on the show, you was cutting up at RayJ.com, you're cutting up here, you're cutting up there, girl, you ain't gonna be nothing in no more. So I was like, dang, kind of, kind of rooting for Tara Marie. I guess it just wasn't for her today. So Fizz and Amanda, they are out and about, he's trying to show her how he is to take care of a child. See, he wears a size 11. I can't be getting his shoes all the time. So what you gonna have to do is come here and get his shoes. So she's like, you know, I don't know about this being a stepmom. And to me, this is her, her, she's telling him, I don't know if I'm ready for this, you know. And he senses this. And as they driving, she gets a confirmation from some hotel in Miami. And he's like, only person you know in Miami is that dude you was creeping with before. Let me see your phone. And she's like, no, that's probably the wrong number. And he's like, no, nah, I don't think it is the wrong number. When you going to Miami, what you got going on? They get to fighting. She's like, just take me home. I can't do this. He's like, I can't do with you lying all the time. Have fun in Miami. Deuces. I was like, dang. I kind of sensed that she wasn't really there, ready to be a mom. I don't know if it's because of, you know, Monique and her crazy self. But she just wasn't ready. And I guess he's like, all, he was like, her past infidelities is just getting the best of him, so if they done broke up. So Nikki and her mom, they done got together and they gonna confront Miley Mal or Molly Mal or whatever his name is. So it's dinner with Nikki, Nikki's mama, and Molly Mom. So he come in like, oh, I didn't know your mom was gonna be the baby. How you doing, girl? You looking good? Yes. So he sits down and like, oh, and ask you some questions about this whole Masika girl. Did you tell you you loved her? He was like, you know, you know, as a person. So, no, that's not what I heard. And I forgot to mention this before. What really made Nikki realize that Molly Mal had cheated and actually had sex with Masika. Masika was like, you know, yes, I told him I love him too, but that was because he was pulling my hair. Now, Nikki, she's like, yes, Molly Mal is the kind of person in the throat of passion. He likes to pull hair. So that was like, okay. She wouldn't know this unless she had had sex with him. So back to the dinner with mom. Nikki's mama, Nikki and Molly mom. And he's like, well, I told her that as a friend. She's like, I don't believe you. You all kinds of lying. And at one point, he's like, he can't take it no more. He's like, mom, first of all, Nikki, you shouldn't be talking like this in front of your mama. But, you know, mom, I'm sorry about this. But, you know, I got to get it out of here, you know. I guess can't take it. He get out the kitchen. And that's what he did. I have a question. Nikki says her mom, her family has all this money. I'm gonna need to know why her mama's makeup and face and hair is not, you know, looking all that good. Now, this is coming from a person who does not have a makeup artist or hairstylist. I do this myself. I don't really do too much makeup, but seeing as how they have money like that, you would think that her makeup would be on point and her hair would be on point. Just saying, not even trying to be funny. It was like her out like. She just got like some down on a black crayon and just smeared it on her eyes. Didn't try to like evenly put it on. I guess she was going for a smoky look, but it didn't really look like that to me. But yeah. So that was just my review. If I left anything out, by all means leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter. And here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.